things built into Max is the biped pose tools. And uh, I'll just create a biped here. And instead of having the generic shape, we'll change the body skeleton to uh, say a, a female here, just to kind of make it a little different. And just remember too, with uh, with uh, pose tools um, in biped, you can actually um, um, set up quite your own mocap data if you want to call it your own animation data and uh, so I'm going to call this I'm going to rename this biped right now called women and uh, biped that's the first thing I want to do and then you go what's called the uh, the motion panel here and most of the times in the turn we've been going to figure mode where you go in and, and change the character but we don't need to go in figure mode for pose tools there's a lot of rollouts here and one of the rollouts is really cool it's called the copy paste rollout and uh, now why would copy paste be dealing with uh, pose tools but it is if you go into pose there's a little tab right here and uh, and you create a new collection we'll call it the uh, um, female dynamic I call, just call it DYN poses okay and what that does it, it copies what's called a collection and you can store and save these collections and put them on other characters if you want um, and you can actually save the file called uh, um, save the collection called CPY. But what I do is we we need it first an example of poses. So what I'm going to do is see this little copy tab in here. We're going to go copy pose, and we're going to call this neutral. So this is a neutral pose, okay? And if you look here, there's a little camera shot. You can actually camera shot from the viewport if you want. So I can actually change the angle if I want and get a, a better a better view of that if I wanted to do a new pose at that point. Um, now what you want to do with that posing you want her to wave at you right so let's take the arm and have her wave and so she's gonna wave so her arm comes out let's bring her arm out here and uh, so she's gonna wave at you or point at you okay so she's got this pose um, and we'll bring this one out a bit and maybe have her look at you slightly okay okay because she's looking at her hand okay so um, so that's it maybe have her bend just a bit because um, she's leaning forward so if you go in here and hit copy pose so that was pointing um, um, forward let's call it so I've got two poses in here a neutral and a point forward What's great about the neutral and any one of these poses, you can paste them. So you can go back to the pose that you wanted. Just paste the pose. Just like copy and paste um, in Windows, except you're pasting these poses. And what's great about that is that I can put auto key on and paste these poses. And I can go back in here, say it frames 30 frames per second. And at point forward, I can paste the post 30 and then say oh I want to look the other way you can actually paste opposite and then I can go back to the neutral pose at frame 80 pose that and what happens you've got a production okay it's that easy and those can be stored as collections so I can call this a collection of female uh, pointing poses okay and I can share those with other um, uh, other uh, biped um, features, uh, biped figures. What's great about this, even now that I got an animation track, I can go back into the uh, biped and save that file as a female point pose. Just to put it on my desktop right now, and now it becomes an animation track. So that whole track. So if I do a new character, watch this. I'll just do a new character with the biped really quick. I'll go uh, into the systems biped. I'll do a new character beside her. This time I'll make a male, okay? And I'll bring his height up here. And uh, actually let's do a classic so it's quite distinct. So I can take this male character, call it the male classic and go into the biped open and load the 
female pose, just I'm going to make sure that I move all mode and bring him over so he's not on the same position. And watch, he's got the same motion as her. Okay? And that's posing. And